Welcome fourth grade. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating how to draw this one. Um, basically, because after the first week um, with you guys practicing, I saw that the majority of students were doing this um, electric pole. Um, but there were a lot of errors. As I said, I thought this one was more of the easier one, um, but it's easy if you get the major things right. So I'm going to show you um, how I would do this and kind of break it down. And then this is also um, some of the points could be applied to um, everyone else as well. So the first thing that we talked about last week was drawing what we think everything is based off of or the thickest part, the major um, need, um, which is the pole, all right? So one little trick that I can do um, is I can match this up. So again, this picture goes horizontal. So I wanna have my paper horizontal, right? Then I can move it down and I can put a little bit um, or little marks where the thickness of the um, pole is and where it lines up as far as from side to side. Okay, that is the nice thing about this being the same size. Now, do I want you to trace it? Some of you think you're sneaky. Um, I'm, when everything lines up perfectly, I'm going to know that something um, happened. All right. But putting little marks here, this just helps you size up. That's not cheating in any way, All right? So that's the first thing. The other thing is you can take this and you could fold it, line it up right next to it. And this will tell you how high up it should go, okay? So I put a little line where I think the top of that pole is. While I'm doing that, um, well, I'll come back. So. First thing is to look, does it get a little uh, skinnier from the base to the top? And I would say with this one, not really. So I am drawing lines that come up. I'm going to say to about there. Now, these are other little things that help. By putting marks up at the top where you think they line up, again, it would have to be straight. Um, but... When I have a line here and here, that's really nice to work off of because now I can match up two little um, lines. Some of you I saw were measuring. So you were going from the bottom of the paper up to the top. This says that it's three and three quarters, okay? Which is, well, because that's right where this was, okay? So both methods work. That's why I'm showing you. Right, so I make my lines, right, curve my top. Right. Then the next widest thing on this picture is the crossbar. Okay, this is where a lot of us struggled. We made these um, parts, the attachments first, but we didn't know where they went up to. Um, and then the other thing is we didn't make the proper slant. Okay, so this is where if you have a ruler, you can actually use it to help you. You can measure from the bottom of the paper up and find out where the um, pole is here, right? Whether you, you're you using your own ruler, so if you make marks, that's fine if you don't know measurement. Um, this one would be right at four and a half, okay? So I can come over here. At four and a half, I can make a line. And now this one is going to be at five and a quarter. And since my numbers are fading, on this side, it goes all the way up to five and a quarter. So I have a line right now, a little dot here and a little dot here, which gives me that slant. Okay. Next, we want to know where, so I'm lining up the edge of the paper here, okay, and I'm sliding it up so that I can see both of those marks that I just made, and now I'm looking, all right, where does it come down to? I'd say about here, 
and then an imaginary line coming down, I'd say to about here. Okay, so now I take my ruler and I'm gonna find those two slant lines and I'm gonna draw my line. Okay. Now next I can pull away and I can say, yeah, that looks about the same or I could measure it. Okay. I know a lot of us won't do that. I'm not forcing you to right now. All right. But then straight line going up, straight line going up. All right. So now I have my crossbar, my pole. Putting marks here are going to help me because this is where it comes down into. And I'm going with the thickest poles first, and then I'm doing the skinnier ones here. Okay. So this goes up. And I always like to look at my other line. Okay, so I'm sliding it away from the line I just did because I want to make sure that I'm making a parallel line, meaning that the thickness from here to here is the same as from here to here on the bottom. Okay, and now I'm going to go and do the other side. And now these connect and come down. So again, making sure that I can see that line. Made some reference marks. I'm going to draw this one in the inside. Right, and then I can add these basic shape squares or rectangles, whatever you see. Add them down below here. Again, nothing's colored in yet. And now for these pieces up at the top, I can also use this to help me find out where this one's going to be on my pole, right? Which I'm gonna make lines here to help me find out where that goes. I'm gonna start with basic squares or rectangles. This one comes off a little bit. This one's lined up. And then I do the candy um, just that basic rounded triangle almost. Try to get them all about the same size and shape. And can put a little And again, next week when we color these, or in two weeks when we color these in, you could draw them today. But this is all that we would do. All right, now this is the big kind of um, helper. And um, this is really confusing for some of them. But I can slide this over to the edge of my paper here. And I can put a line, one here, here, and here. And then I can move it over on this side. Again, matching up the bottom of your paper. Otherwise, it doesn't help you much. 
you can put a line. There. So I have three marks on the side of my paper here and three marks here. Okay. I'm going to turn my paper on its um, the vertical way here. And I'm going to start with one line that goes to here and then one line that goes from here up to there. All right. So I'm starting with the bottom one. We're going to draw a straight line going right through all of the stuff I drew. And this is a single line. It doesn't matter which one of these you're drawing. It's a single line. And then a line to here. That's my first one. My second one. Drawing to there. And connecting it with that. And then my third one. When I'm all done, right, you have a nice drawing based off of the printout. Okay? If you took the time to measure and to do everything a certain way, it's always kind of fun to put it underneath and see how well you did. Um, now, mine can't get all the way up to the top here, right? but it's pretty close. Okay. You can see a little bit is sticking out, so that's where I'm off a little bit, but everything else is pretty close. So with that, save these. Next week, we start to paint, all right? Again, do not color anything in. Leave it all white in the inside. Good job.